it's me again. I'm making the most of things by filming while I'm in the car because if there's anything I like doing, it's saving time and being efficient. Now, this video is all about how to get more out of your day. The number one tip is stop watching TV. Yes, that's right. If you are addicted to television and you spend every night watching telly, you're not going to build your business as big as those who do not indulge. Okay, we all have ways to relax, we all have ways to unwind, but the TV is one of the worst things to build your business, to build your positivity, to build your career. So consider cutting out as much TV as you can, as many hours as possible. Maybe have a little dabble here and there if you've got a favorite show, but just think about it. Really think about it. Do you think those hotshot big business tycoons spend hours and hours lounging watching TV? Crikey, no, they don't. They spend hours working, networking, talking. The time they have free, they probably spend with their family actually doing something meaningful. If you don't believe me, have a look on the internet. Google celebrities who don't have a TV tycoons, successful people who don't have a TV. You can spend that time reading books, listening to audiobooks to learn and to grow and enhance your skill set. There's so much you can do with that time. Trust me, a lot of the TV stuff is negative anyway. People's drama, the soaps, they thrive on dramatic stories of death, poverty, affairs, cheating, lying. There's positive stuff as well, but you know, there's a lot of negative stuff too. So cut it out. If you wanna make this business work, if you wanna get somewhere, you're gonna to have to sacrifice a few things. Otherwise, you're gonna take longer to get there. I know I would rather go boom, go really hard, get really motivated, put myself in there 110% and really give it my all. So then I know I've done my absolute best I've given it the most I can and that's all I can expect, you know, if I'm not going to try hard enough and just focus a few little bits here and there, then I'm not going to get the results. Personally, if you put the most effort into something, it, it works 10 times better than just drip feeding anyway. You know, if you haven't got much time, that is the whole point. If you don't have much time to work on your business, on your dream, then there are ways to find that extra time. So apart from cutting out the TV, that's the biggest time sucker. The other thing, sorry, my camera's moving. Um, the other time sucker is people. Who takes up a lot of your time and doesn't really appreciate it or use it? You know, are there people that spend time with you for hours moaning, sponging off you, having cups of tea from your house? I don't know, there must be one or two things that could happen that are happening that way. Also, are they negative people? Could you just simply spend less time with them? Could you do a bit less with them? Can you arrange to meet at their house so you can quickly leave? make your excuses you know change is a great thing if you want different results you've got to put different habits into place you can't get you always get what you've always got if you always do what you always did something like that I forgot the actual main added anyway so people time constraints draining the other thing is multitasking what can you do at the same time I do not read physical papers. I get them online and digital and I read them through my phone. It plays it back to me. Or I buy the books as audiobooks. Or I get YouTube videos on playlists and have them on my phone and they just play to me. And I know which ones I've watched. I have courses online and I study those by audio. So anytime I'm putting my makeup on, when I'm in the shower, when I'm making breakfast, washing up, that's another thing, get a washing, a dishwasher. That would save more time. Anything at all that that needs doing with my hands, I can put audio on to listen to, to train, to learn. I can have, I can do Skype calls with people while I'm doing other things. I can have phone conversations. So multitasking is a great thing. You just have to pick the tasks that are meaning, not meaningless, but the tasks that aren't so big and consuming your brain power. You can easily do while you're listening to other things. So double up your time. And the final tip, 
I think it's the final tip, is to squeeze in those little things here, there and everywhere. When you pop to the toilet, quickly do something for work, quickly check an email, quickly send a memo to somebody, put something into action. Okay, you've got Facebook, use your business skills to promote Facebook. Um, to, no, sorry, use your Facebook to promote your business in a gentle way. Have you got a Twitter or blog or something you can quickly do? It's those little minutes when you're waiting for a bus, when you're waiting in a queue. You know, don't worry about checking your Facebook for normal stuff. Well, yeah, actually you can, because talking to people, networking is a really good way to boost your business contacts and people to see what you're looking at. But, you know, there's ways you can squeeze lots of stuff in to your day. If you're going on the way to somewhere, stop off somewhere different and go and talk to somebody new. Or go and hand a few flyers out. Stick a few cards through people's doors on the street you've just passed. Take a detour. You will be surprised how easy it is to make this work. You just have to have the... I was going to say balls then. You have to have that passion, that fire to really want to do it. So if you haven't, if you're not using your time wisely and wasting your time letting other people waste your time, then you've really got to look at things and, and see what you can gain. Um, if you'd like me to go into any of these more points, oh, if you'd like me to go into these points in any more detail, I'd happily make a video on each one of the points I have mentioned to give you more inspiration and more ideas. It could be that you find one area really hard to stop and you really need to have help um, to break habits or find ways to deal with people or situations that are out of your own control to a certain extent. So I'm more than happy to give you extra tips, extra advice. I've been in business now for 10 years, coming this December, and I've learned a lot of tricks, a lot of tips, and you know I've grown along the way, so very happy to share that. So yes, what can you do? Why are you doing this? Why are you even bothering to be in business? How much do you want it to work? Why do you want it to work? What do you want to achieve? What is your dream? You know, if you think about these things, it will help you to think, yeah, when the, when you get up, you know, think, yeah, I, sh I should be doing this. I should really be focusing. I should be doing this, 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 and this today. I'm going to go and do it. I'm going to make this work. I'm going to get the energy high, focused, boom, go for it. You know, if you do all of those combination of tips in one, all together, in one day, every day, you're really going to go far. You're going to get loads more done. People are going to go, wow, I don't know how you do it. And then you turn around and say to them, well, do you know what? One day I had a few tips on how to get more from my day. And I used those tips. I got comfortable doing that every day. It became my routine. And eventually it was just easy. I didn't have to try very hard. And I just get loads done. And now I wouldn't go back to my old ways because it's too, I can see how much time I lost. I would never want to lose that time again. I'd rather have that time to do something really cool that I felt great about, like going on a boat in a lake or something. Whatever it is for you that you want to do. Okay, so put a pledge below, put your worst habits for your time, and then kind of banish them forever. Once you've sent those comments out there, you can banish them, and now you can pledge your intentions. What are you going to do? What are you going to change? How are you going to do it? Let's support each other. All of you comment, share the comments, comment on each other's comments, and we can really just start to get some momentum. Cool. So here's how to get more from your day, and here's me wishing you more from your day. Goodbye.